What we're looking at is preterm babies. When you're developing in that premature state, where you are with respect to your age is very important. Less than 27 weeks is what we consider extreme prematurity. So every single organ system is extremely premature. They're not designed to be outside the womb. If you're above your age, that's fine. If you're lagging behind your age or you're too young for your age, that's not a good thing. Our particular study looks at the heart rate that's coming from preterm babies. And we compute several measures of this heart rate signal to estimate the age of the baby. For example, a preemie baby that is 26 or 28 weeks of age, we can actually get towards days of accuracy if, if that information is telling them that they're developing abnormally at that particular time, they could intervene and they could provide a treatment that's personalised to the child. There's a lot more subtle information embedded in the heart rate signal that human beings can't extract visually. So we use computer methods, we use artificial intelligence to determine, to extract the real fine detail from that signal. If a single heartbeat is a letter, clinicians mostly will get the sentence, but we can get the book. Every heartbeat tells a story. The more we know about what their developmental age is, the more then we can design treatments to improve that so that they have the optimal outcome. When I first saw him, it was kind of scary. He was, he was tiny. He was like this big, yeah. this wide. It's a huge emotional roller coaster. I had just given birth at 28 weeks. Every day is a new day and he's going good. He is in the best hands here, we can see it every day. It's really important that more research is done. You know, these are our next generation. You know, we need to help them. There's no greater intervention that you can do in a human being than right at birth you fix them for their whole life. We do want to optimise how they survive. It's not just about survival now, it's about quality of life. And that's where this precision medicine, this increased diagnostic information, really helps them target the details in care. We need to partner with our engineers who look at this technology and help us try to answer some of the questions on how to improve our care. Collaboration is super important. Oh, it's exciting. It's really a meeting of two worlds and when, when we actually come up with a solution together, uh, it's really satisfying. It's fascinating the amount of information that we can tell about how a person is from just passively measuring the electrical activity that emanates from them. It is a hugely powerful tool. Special every time, every time.